man, I got like two miles into my trip and headset doesn't want to connect with the GPS, which doesn't want to connect with the phone, turn the GoPro on, the battery dies immediately, I thought it was charged, <sighs> oh well, let's get back on the road. What's going on my fellow YouTubers? Here in the DMV, that's the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, even though I'm in West Virginia, I work down in that area. We recently broke a record for, it was either 17 or 18 days in a row that it rained. Uh, I don't know if the record ended yesterday or today. I don't remember if it was still raining on Sunday. Anyway, it's been eight days since I've been out on a motorcycle. Yesterday looked really, really nice, but it was cold and windy. Today, it's not super warm, but it's not too bad. I've got 68 degrees, so I got into work early this morning so I can get out of there a little early and get a little bit of riding in this evening because it's calling for rain again tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Friday may finally uh, start to clear back up again. So, anyway, just happy to get back out on the bike tonight. I can tell you right now, tonight's ride is not going to be a really long ride. Wanted to come out and try out a few things. First off, I got brand new cheek pads in my showy helmet. The other ones were, I mean, they were as old as a the helmet. They're a few years old, but um, I was having trouble on the back part of it. I, it's kind of hard to explain. One of the cheek pads was wanting to come undone in the back. Uh, just you kept constantly having to shove it back up where it belonged. The new one fits in there perfect. Uh, the other thing is they're not very expensive. I mean, it's like twenty some dollars for for a new set. Well, it smells brand new again, and you know it fits a little bit more snug. The other thing is I put the uh, chin skirt in. I think for the first time. Uh, I don't really like it in the fact that you know I like to carry it around by the. Uh, by the, the uh, fucking chin bar. That's what I'm looking for, chin bar. I like, I like to carry it around by the chin bar, which makes it a little bit more difficult to do that. But I do kind of like it. I, it's not that cold out. I mean, it's actually pretty warm out this evening, so I don't really feel like I need it. It might help with wind noise a little bit uh, when it comes to the microphone. But I can see using this when it's a little bit cooler out. It's pretty nice and it packs flat enough. You can just throw it in a, throw it inside your jacket or tank bag or something like that. It really doesn't take up any space. So um, anyway, I had this helmet a few years. The first time I tried out the chin skirt, kind of cool. So anyway, wow, well, that's graded up. Bunch of crap out in the road. Riding around in Jefferson County tonight. I don't know where I'm gonna end up, but it's just too pretty of a night to not go out and ride at least a little bit. Coming up on Summit Point Raceway, uh, those of you guys that race motorcycles, uh, or at least interested in racing, may have heard of it right here on the left. That's kind of the main entrance to the, the main circuit, and then there's another entrance up here that's kind of the main entrance to the Shenandoah circuit right there. There's uh, there's the main circuit, the Jefferson circuit, the Shenandoah circuit. You know, I didn't mention it at the start of the video, but obviously I'm out on the FJR tonight instead of the SV. I promise I'll get the uh, the Honda C70 back out here before too long. But um, yeah, I just decided to take the FJR out tonight. You know, it's a really comfortable bike. I really wasn't planning on going out and ripping and tearing too hard. But um, just wanted a little bit of added wind protection, a little bit of added comfort this evening. And I guess the other big thing was I'm carrying a little bit of extra camera equipment, and I didn't want to throw on a backpack, and I definitely didn't want to have to put a tank bag on the SV, so I just thought, oh, I'll get the big bike out tonight and go have some fun on it, so that's what I'm doing. So I hope you 
guys got a chance to check out uh, my last video, we rode down to Foamhenge. And the main reason why we did that, I would, like I said in the video, I've been down there, it's about two and a half years ago, but I read something recently that they're getting ready to turn the area that it's sitting in into a state park, and the state doesn't want it sitting there. So they're going to be moving it. I don't know who's going to get it yet. It's kind of up to the guy that made it. But it's not going to be sitting there in its current state anymore. So it's kind of a weird, quirky thing. But just wanted to ride down and check it out one last time. Mattress sale. What's today? Today's Monday. It's Margarita Monday. I'm probably not going to get out for margaritas. But if I would do it, what if I did, I'd go over there. To Viva Mexico. I understand your Jeep thing, that's why I drive a Toyota. I got your Jeep thing, it burns when I pee. Am I the only part Toyota and and, uh, and Jeep people have beef with each other? It's the first time hearing of it. God, this piece of crap in front of me is burning oil. Forgot, I don't have six gear. All right, guys, well, thanks for coming along on tonight's ride. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back on this bike in a few days, and hopefully, we can get more than a few days in a row where it's not raining. I got some really cool places I want to travel to, some not too far, some really far away, and I look forward to sharing each and every ride with you guys. Ride safe. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Cue the outro music, uh, now.